Hi, hey, listen, I really want to thank you so much for the outpouring of support in response to our emergency drive for $100,000 by the end of May. That's May 31st. Hey, listen, we really need those resources right now. The Democrats have unsheathed another massive, massive spending bill, the so-called HEROES Act. It's supposedly a solution to the coronavirus crisis. What does it do? How about this? Billions and billions of dollars, billions and billions of your tax dollars going to, yes, illegal aliens, retroactive payments for the stimulus checks to illegal aliens, people with no right to be in the United States getting on the gravy train, massive amounts, billions of dollars of your taxpayer money. It extends work authorization, suspends enforcement, makes sure that billions of dollars of your tax money go to sanctuary cities, non-cooperation jurisdictions, shielding criminal aliens from deportation, shields them from deportation, as I say, and ultimately makes it essentially un the immigration laws unenforceable. This, of course, is a major threat. They're going to try to jam this at the Republican Senate, try to get President Trump to sign it or argue somehow that he's being mean and nasty. Also, at a time when 30 million new Americans are unemployed, Americans are being thrown out of work. Where do the Democrats in the House want to put their money? Billions and billions of dollars to illegal aliens. Who are the voices that are going to stand up to stop it? You and me together, we're going to do this fair. We're going to stand up against this. We can beat this back, but only if we have your support and we have, and you have our back, we have your back, we're going to get this done. You know, at the same time, we've been hoping that the Trump administration is going to actually take serious steps to suspending non-immigrant or guest worker visas. The thousands and th hundreds of thousands of guest worker visas that come in all the time, every month, why do we need to bring in all these foreign workers right now when we have 30 million plus Americans newly out of work? Why would we want to do that? Well, again, insatiable business lobbyists are contending. Americans are fat, lazy, don't want to do the job, can't pick crab meat because their fingers are too fat. They've always got some excuse. They need illegal aliens to do harvesting. They actually want foreign labor, temporary foreign worker to even run harvesting combines. Essentially, they're saying, even doctors, nurses, they're saying that the Americans aren't good enough to do jobs, aren't enough Americans to do this. 30 million Americans out of work and the business lobby continues to push aggressively on the Trump administration to keep these foreign visas going. We are leaning hard on the Trump administration to try to make good on the promises and make sure that the jobs that are available go to American workers first. American workers get priority. American workers and the American families get priority for public services and public benefits. It's only fair and it's only right. So with your support, we can get this done. We've got to help the president do the right thing. We've got to make sure that those folks who want to destroy immigration law enforcement don't prevail. There aren't a lot of voices out there on our side, just you, the American people. So together we can get this done. So let's just keep fighting. Thank you.